Hello everybody, my name is Unlawful Potato, and welcome back to the Beginner's Guide. I really liked this game before, I know I said I was going to play more of it, um, like, really soon after the first episode, and I totally spaced it, like, I don't know what it was, I just got busy with other stuff, and you probably don't believe me on that, because I was uploading, like, every day for a while there, but, I had other shit. But anyway, let's go back in. We left off last time at the stairs. Come on. What? Hello? Game? Can I... Okay, enter. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay. Anyway, last time... Nonsense. Oftentimes, and... Kuda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his game. Oh, he talks. <laughs> oh, this I is... wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. <laughs> Once he stopped work on a game, like, me. that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you going to do? Wow. This is really cool. This could have been an awesome game if he had continued this. He still could. Um, I have not spoiled this game for me at all, but recently I saw, like... The same day that I uploaded my first episode. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, Doors I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. But why do you slow to a crawl in the first place? That's what I want to know. If I press enter again... Okay, it doesn't make me go slow. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold on! Oh, there's too much text! Simultaneously, you are trying... What? Sharks are trying to eat you. Simultaneously, A you are trying to eat the sharks. And whoa. And nice and filled with little ideas for games. You can... That is so cool! He Coda would often tell me that room. he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. Oh. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. That's actually it very much It can be like a very me. slow climb to get there. Yeah. People don't trust you a lot, and you don't really <laughs> show them your true self. You... I spent too much time staring in one place. I'm an idiot. That's okay. Ready, set, fish. Excuse me? I don't... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Just a second. So I recently saw Jacksepticeye, like, the exact same day that I put my playthrough of this game up, like, my first episode. He put his up, and I'm like, that's a great coincidence. One of my favorite YouTubers put it up at the same day as I did. That's really cool. And I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch how he reacts to this game as soon as I'm done with it myself. Because it's a great game, I don't want to spoil it for myself, but I also want to see how he played it, how he enjoyed it, if he enjoyed it on the same level that I did. And I also noticed he put up the entire game, I'm pretty sure, in one thing. I didn't. I'd rather go through it in little parts, like this. Um, but I might just finish it now. Um, it is 2.50 in the morning right now, so I'm kind of expecting not to finish it right now, because I'll probably wind up going to bed before I finish. But we'll see. I don't know how long this game actually is. But it looked like this is cool. It looked like it was about like an hour and a half or so, I want to say. Something like that. So, I'm not the same quality as the old Winnie the Pooh movie. If anyone remembers that, probably not. I don't... What was it? Like the... Heffalumps or something, I think. I don't remember. Well, this that is was... new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Actual puzzle. What do you Go mean ahead and see if puzzle? you can solve it. What do you mean it's a puzzle? It's a puzzle? Is this a puzzle? A pu Whoa. Hold on a freaking minute. A pu oh, I can't go back the way I came, but... is Was this the puzzle, or... Is the puzzle starting now? How oh. The puzzle is starting now. How do I... Does that open the door on the other side? Or if I do what I think I can do, will that break the game? I'm gonna try this, because I'm, I'm thinking if I open this and then right away close it again and run through, maybe it'll work? I'm gonna see if it does. 
looks like. Good. Like, uh, ah, oh, shit. Don't forget that oh. solution because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. Are we? We're going to really? see it a lot. These are the bullet holes from the. These seem like a staple in his games. I wonder if they were in any of the other ones and I just missed them. I bet they were, because they, they're in the exact same formation. There's no others like them in this game. How interesting. Another can't go back place. Wait, maybe I can't. Can I go back? I can't go back. I don't know why I even tried. I keep thinking I can sprint, too. I'm a big stupid. I, what the fuck is this? Can I close this? I can't close it. Wait. It. Can I close this? I can't close it. Why am I trying to close it? I guess I'm trying to so test the limits of this it, game. Right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Right. All right. Now I'm going to modify the game again so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. What? Really? Holy sh... How about that? There was more to can it than we had any way of knowing. Can I... Oh... I actually find it funny that this okay. game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. Yeah, they do. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And, and then, this. in this level, a dull interior hides this that fantastic it's like... underworld. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know wow. what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's and not he your put role all of that player. in with the intent of using. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? That is really cool. If he finished any, he said we were gonna come back here. I feel like this is meant to be a horror game. You are not. Hold on a freaking minute. Can I? Go can I go back? Will it show me the other sign? Will I hit an invisible wall? I will hit an invisible wall. Invisible wall. I can speak words correctly. Good God. Uh, uh -huh. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. Really? It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. That would actually There's a kind bigger of sense. picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And okay. once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Now what are we trying to understand? Are we trying to understand Coda? Or are we trying to understand his games or both? Or Great and Lovely Descent. That's a Whoa. It's kind of it is sloped, okay. I was right about that. Um, I'm not thinking out loud very much. Let's talk about okay. video game development for a second. Why? Every okay. video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. True. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Did he use the same engine for all of them? I mean, to make that makes... all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, large. empty rooms, is just because he's what? working with what the engine does Damn. well. That makes sense. Kind of. The tools I mean, available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work <laughs> okay. they're going to end up making. You might consider paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games. To yeah, the architecture. Notice is how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. Everything is very boxy. Yeah, yeah. I definitely noticed the boxiness now. I didn't really before. I totally get that now. But is this, is this all there is to this? I mean, it's cool. And I feel like there should definitely be more to this. It's like a diner, it looks like. The streetwise fool. It's totally a diner. So, it's like a setting for a game that you could have made. For like a diner, like something... Something like maybe a life simulator type of game. Oh, this opened. 
like a life simula simulator type of game maybe where you are like a more realistic sort of game where you go into a diner for some reason like maybe maybe like um like a superhero game and you go here to fight the bad guy like in the second spider-man movie or something not the shitty ones though sorry if you're so I, I'm a little biased on the Spider-Man movies. I hate the new ones, but I love the old three, and a lot of people I know will probably disagree with me. I don't know why I hate them. I don't remember why I hate them, because I only watched the first one of the new ones, but I'm just like, uh-uh, this is not... I'm just hopping along. I bet there's no fall damage. Wait a minute, I just... Holy shit, this just, like, blew my mind. That was a delayed reaction, too. Like, I was just going along, and now suddenly this. I was just in a diner. He opened the door. I went downstairs, and now this. Whoa. Okay, this is cool. Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. I wonder if I can jump over there. <clears throat> do I get enough momentum going? I do. Let's see what else I can do. <clears throat> Get me over there. Come on. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. Like, it's it's a 3D platformer, kind of. I don't know. It gives me a Mario Galaxy sort of feel, but also gives me a very creepy feel. Like, there is this picture uh, that I remember seeing in like eighth grade. Uh, one of our teachers showed it to us, and like the story behind it was really dark. Like, they showed it to us at Halloween, and I'm just like, this is really creepy picture and it sort of looked like this I think it was like some weird staircase or something it's not like the uh, staircase that like continuously goes up or continuously goes goes down like in a box formation I don't remember how to explain it if I can find it I'll put it in the video and show it right here right now but what was that interesting and now there's just so there's just empty shit like that. Why, though? Huh. Okay. Now I'm a little creeped out. Okay, a lot creeped out. This is, it's like, at first I got a vibe that was sort of like a barn, like barn animals are stored here, and now I'm getting a very... Uh, Oh, good. You want me to go in here? You want me, you want me to be a prisoner? Because that's the sort of feel I'm getting from this, is that it's a jail. Is this where the horror game starts? Oh. That... Excuse me? That's an elevator? What? This is totally a prison cell. Th this prison, funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you what? don't mind, I think we're going to skip that. I mean, yeah, I don't want to sit here for- Ooh. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game <laughs> ought to actually be playable. Whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? Yeah, and really. And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. You sarcastic I played bitch. every single one of those <laughs> just to find out if there was like a gag. Wow, inside. that is sass levels above 9,000. Wow, that is... Coda's a troll, dude. Damn. I wonder if he made Troll Face Quest. <laughs> Probably not, because he did say he like didn't make any more games. This is an invisible wall that I can see. That's kind of cool. Whoa. This is so cool, and I just realized we've been in this one for a really long time, and I'm all out of time for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to leave this episode here, but I'll be right back. I'm still going to record for a little bit longer, and probably post this next episode after this one a day after this one goes up because I'm not really enjoying my schedule so far of having two of the same game up every day like 
two, I had two Don't Star videos up, then I had two Rocket League videos up. I want to mix it up a little. I, I still want to record and upload Rocket League, and I still want to record and upload Don't Starve and other games. And I want to upload them still, but I don't want to upload them just that for the day. I want to upload something along with them for those days. Because otherwise, it feels weird and people get bored of that. Wow.